Ladies and gentlemen, crypto traders, I have a quick follow-on update I want to go ahead and announce through the YouTube channel for token specifically that I cover. There's going to be a series of these. At my current count, I've got three, which really pisses me off. Regardless, I've got three I can think of immediately on deck that I want to do a follow-on. So I'm going to be uploading these in somewhat rapid sequence. Then I need to synchronize these to the podcast that's available to our triad members at CryptoTalkRadio.net. Let me go ahead and get through these. They won't take that long. These are snippet type updates and these will not go to the main podcast because I don't know that it, I don't know that it rises that level. I'd rather just make sure that these are found people that might be searching for this business. First up, Hyper Shiba Inu. I covered Hyper Shiba Inu and I did an assessment on them ages ago. So long ago, I had completely forgotten that I had done that coverage, but I did the coverage on that token. The token has not had significant success since I did the coverage. However, what I noticed was that there was a couple of things that had changed. And then there was two updates, one in early April, one in late April. And what I noticed was that since then, there's been a couple of changes, but none of the significant changes to fix what I had concerns with. And arguably, I didn't think it was a trash project. It felt like they just had poor social media business and their website sucked from what I could tell. So I went back and looked at it again. Turns out that, yes, the Binance rewards that they had put in there are actually paying out. And from a market move perspective, it's decent. There's no high risk things other than they've got whales. There'd be whales there in who holds numbers of tokens, which creates a dump risk. So it's I don't see a risk now that it's a scam. I, I don't see that. It could be, but I don't see that in the evaluation of the code. What the issues are for me is the number of whales. Two, the owner has all sorts of carte blanche rights to do stuff. If they were listening, I would tell them getting on ever own and ever lock might help them. Get it to where the contract is protected. Get it to where they can't take and do things without talking to the community. Fix the website because that's not been fixed yet. It still looks somewhat childish. And then they called out that CoinMarketCap was not going to list them because of the fact it was a rebase token. And I said that, you know, you got Libra on there, you got Tatano on there. So whatever they're telling you is either a lie or you're lying to the people. Either way, because you can't see the value in the wallet, it may be harming investor sentiment. They did a migration and they dropped the new tokens and then they 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 rebalanced it because they changed the supply. And it looked like they bumped the supply up, as far as I can tell. So people ended up with more tokens. So I don't know if that change of the supply and the change of the mechanics was in to get into coin market cap. I don't know that. But it seems like there's still like these fundamental issues, even though they are paying the rewards they're supposed to. If, again, they're listening, I think I can help you in if you're serious and it seems like you're trying to be. But I don't know. It, it doesn't feel like there's enough here to move it forward. For anybody who had watched our analysis back in April and had these open questions, here's what I can confirm. I can tell you that from a just generic code function liquidity, I didn't see major issues like the owner wallet. It's not like with the lock pay business with the car salesman 2 the owner doesn't hold a significant amount of tokens. The, they do have whales in it, which could create a dump risk. This is true, but the owner is not renounced. They have, they can change the fees. They can do all the structure. So there's a risk there. The marketing seems kind of weird. I don't know what their marketing strategy is. It seems like they lack it. The website feels childish to me, and I would completely redesign it from the ground up. That was one thing I called out. The social media strategy doesn't seem to be there, and then I would tell them to get on Everlock and Everohm to kind of help protect the project overall. But it is paying the Binance USD rewards. They send them straight to your wallet, and I think it's once a day or something. So my summary is I can't even tell you what's truly going on with this one. It's bizarre. But if they are listening, I'd like to help you. If you're trying to do this right, we're here. I'd like to help you, but you got to reach out. You got to reach out. I'm not coming to tell a scam. You got to reach out, come on my show, and I'll ask these questions to try to understand what you're trying to do so I can clarify it to people and help you if you want to market it better and do a better job. The last thing I said is I believe, this is a theory. I have no evidence. I believe Coin market cap might be resonating with the fact it has Shiba Inu in the name and the logo is Shiba Inu and the name I felt was going to hold them back. 
It looks like that's the case. The holder count hasn't gone up significantly. If they were banking on SHIB people jumping on board, the problem there is that SHIB is losing sentiment. So it's like, it's like hopping on the wrong wagon. Now, the beauty is, since the only thing allegedly holding them back is the coin market cap, that means you can rebrand this business, potentially. If you can rebrand and you can change some of the names and you can get it to away from the, the Shiba part of it and just create your own something, hyper something else. Don't do an emu. Don't do the Shiba. Create a new something. And then rebrand, fix the colors, fix the strategy, fix the outreach, fix the communication. Figure out what you want to do. Then I think you can move this thing forward if you're serious. I don't know if you are, but if you're serious, I think you can move this thing forward. Once again, CryptoTalkRadio.net, reach out. And I'd love to have you on the show. And we can talk it out if you're legit and you want to go it forward to try to help it move. But I again, I don't know what the heck's going on with Hyper Sheen and you. So that's that guy, and I'm I'm pretty much done with that one. The second one is Zeta Reality, X-E-T-A. I'm going to do that one next up. <laughs> 